Michelle, it has been a remarkable meeting. The public comments went on for around three hours. Dozens of people, including several veterans, joining council members in saying Gregory Salcedo needs to go. Any comments attributed to me were definitely out of context. Definitely. Pico Rivera City Councilman Gregory Salcedo finally breaking his silence about the anti-military rant that has sparked outrage and calls for his resignation. We've been inundated with death threats. Salcedo's classroom remarks secretly recorded by a student. They're not like high-level thinkers. They're not academic people. They're not intellectual people. They're the freaking lowest of our low. And I'm shaking right now because I'm pissed off and I'm angry. I'm angry at the comments that you've made. The freedoms that you enjoy was because of the blood that was shed for this country. Tonight, dozens of veterans and community members stepping up to the podium in the packed city council chambers and blasting Salcedo. A reputation of arrogant unprofessionalism, bullying children, profanity, racism, and disrespecting heroes. You disgust me. I was your friend. I stood by you. You disappointed me so much. Speakers including a former student. You don't respect your students, you belittle your students, you intimidate your students, you bully your students, and you try to indoctrinate them to believe the way that you believe. The council passed a resolution urging Salcedo to resign and banning him from participating in committees and other council business. We follow California law. The, voter, the voters put him in this position. It's the voters that are going to remove him from this position. Salcedo did not resign. I would ask you to, to actually listen to me with the same intensity that you've criticized me. I would think you would owe me that. And tonight, many people saying they plan to start a recall effort. They say if Salcedo won't go voluntarily, they'll do everything in their power to make sure he leaves office. 